Recombinant antibodies. Traditional polyclonal antibodies are obtained by immunizing rabbits. Monoclonal antibodies are obtained by immunizing mice. Fusing mouse spleen cells with myeloma cells and cell culture screening. Recombinant antibodies are obtained by constructing plasmids containing antibody sequences and then expressing them in vitro. How are antibody sequences obtained? One is referred to the published literature. The other is monoclonal antibody sequencing technology. What are the advantages of recombinant antibodies? First, animal-free, convenient for international transportation. Second, lot-to-lot -lot consistency to avoid genetic drift. Third, bulk scale-up can get kilogram-level antibodies. Fourth, isotype switching such as subtypes, species and isotype. Recombinant antibodies can also be used for conjugation, epitope study, and in vivo. Experiments. Recombinant antibodies have so many advantages. Why aren't they widely used? Because unknown epitope sequencing is expensive. Recombinant antibodies are usually specific for one application. Animal models are still needed, fewer targets and fewer applications than traditional antibodies. So how to choose the right recombinant antibodies? As a supplier of high-quality scientific research reagent, Biorbit provide recombinant antibodies against various targets. Visit our website for more information.